sort of all done it by hope and prayer really because we everything we had to leave everything so last minute because of the not knowing what the rules were going to be and all that sort of thing but then we eventually when we seemed like we knew what the rules were going to be had this creative meeting where we all sort of said right do we do this and we all just went yep <laughs> and then we did it the initial joy of being cast in this show especially now in this time politically it was amazing and then march disaster struck <laughs> um it was really uncertain it was really horrible not knowing what was going to happen but kind of being back here in the room with all these people doing this show feels honestly wonderful so rehearsals so far have been super fun i think my favorite part has just been watching people create and uh come up with new ideas and it's just been nice being in a creative environment again because it has been a long time and uh, we're staying really safe but it's nice to bounce off other people and after so many months of just being just sort of on your own just with your very small bubble it's nice to see other people and and work with them and and grow that way we adapted rather quickly and what we've managed to do with the show so far with the restrictions in place has still been really special so that just shows the power of art and the power of theatre the read through specifically was really special because we hadn't gone through anything we literally just gave everything a bash and i'm sure everyone would agree that it sounded pretty sick on day one so i um, can't wait to see what it sounds like when we finished rehearsing everything and we're going back through and perfecting and that's kind of the way that our creators are working that they're teaching all the material and then we go back through and sort of finesse it and put like the the sparkle in it and like finesse the detail it's so important even like pre-pandemic to get theatre accessible to so many different people i think sometimes theatre can be seen as this like elite thing and you go and you buy your wine and your ice cream and you have to have money and blah blah, blah you know and i think it's really important that actually theatre is for everyone and these stories are for everyone and the fact that it's going to be streamed means that Anyone can watch this from wherever they are. It doesn't, you don't have to come, you can watch it in your living room, but still experience that joy that everyone else gets. I think Rent resonates so well with uh, the fans of musical theatre and just like the fans of stage really, because it has a character from every walk of life. And I think having these people come together in a time, at a time where they're so like, impoverished or um, it doesn't really matter whether you're impoverished or from business or, anything like that, um, they're all telling this story together and um, building each other up and helping each other through when no one else will. Oh my gosh, my favourite number has to be the opening. It's electric and Tom Jackson Greaves, who's a choreographer, his choreography, how he has put that with the music, it's a dream. It's been really fun, really, really fun making my stage debut in this um, role. Uh, learning off everybody uh, in the cast has been a fantastic experience and they've just welcomed me so much so I've had a great time. In Rent, Angel is like this little beacon of hope and this little ball of light and energy and I think in such a piece where we have such heavy um, issues and, and things like that it's like so refreshing to see this character like bounce in, just like cheer everyone up. Especially during the pandemic and this climate, a lot of creative people, all of us, actors, creatives, everyone that works in theatre has, has been hit hard and our industry hasn't had a lot of support. So I think everyone is struggling a lot and it's, it's echoed throughout the piece, especially with Mark and Roger with like rent payments and stuff. So yeah, I think it's gonna, it's, it's gonna really hit home. It's very relevant for 2020, for sure. You know, there are people in privileged positions making decisions about people in not privileged positions like so I think as yeah as long as you know there's that divide within society then I think it'll always resonate.